YouTube channel. Today's article I'll be reading X Firefighter claims discrimination and wrongful termination over social media photos. Former firefighter and influencer Presley Pitchcard Picard is suing her employer after claiming she was let go over her sexy social media post. Okay, that sounds a bit unfair, but let's have a read further. Okay, so this US firefighter Presley Pitchcard claims she was fired over her Instagram photos. So she with a strong following of 137,000 followers, she claims her her job was over her raunchy social media photos. Okay, this um, woman from Montana in the United States works as a firefighter and paramedic at Evergreen Fire Rescue for almost three years before allegedly being fired last August. The 27-year-old had since filed a discrimination and wrongful termination complaint with the Montana Human Rights Network against the department. The saga, which first reported in the Daily Inner Lake, began in 2018 when the fire department received an email from a concerned taxpayer that criticised Miss Pitcher's social media usage for being too raunchy. The resident described Miss Pitcher's pictures as being in very poor taste, claiming she was posing practically nude. Okay. However, the fitness instructor, I mean, the, the fitness and influence Instagram feeds was almost entirely dominated by snaps and videos of her working out in active wear, with several photos also showing her in her firefighter uniform. As a result of the email, Miss Pitchard had to attend a meeting with the department's board, which determines that while she has nothing, while she has done nothing wrong, it was time to introduce a social media policy. But no one, but one who was never rolled out. So Miss Pitchard continued to post to Instagram as usual. The fire was even demoted after being accused for of making money from advertisers of the depart of the fire department. Although her sponsors declare that she uh, had only ever been paid for fitness-related posts. Okay, and so this is some of her photos on Instagram. Oh, looking quite nice. Okay, yeah. Let me see. So she she's also accused of sharing photos. I mean, a photo of herself in a fire truck taken at an at, in accident scene, but Mitch picture insists the picture was actually taken during a train session. She also clashed with managers after being selling t-shirts with slogan firefight like a girl and received official letter claim her social media accounts had violated two staff policies. She was to also told she had to delete the fire department related content or lose her job. Miss Pitchard um, refused and was stood down in August 2019, after taking five weeks of leave, undergoing surgery. In her complaint, Miss Pitcher claims she was unfairly targeted because her gender and makes her colleagues who posted similar workout pictures weren't reprimanded. Oh, okay, that sounds a bit of a injustice. I don't know if has been treated like that. So she's now seeking compensation for lost wages, time, and emotional stress, and claims the situation caused her to seek medical treatment. Fox News report, several male employees in the department have photos of themselves in uniform and turn out in front of fire trucks at the department on their social media accounts. Ms. Pitchard complaint reads, Importantly, Evergreen Fire Department does not have a social media policy and never has. I was directly targeted due to how I look in my gym attire at the public gym. Evergreen Fire Rescue Chief Craig Williams told AP in a statement all complaints were taken seriously. Oh, jeez. Poor, poor Pitchard being treated like this. While the complaint never made 
or reported to any allegation to the district while she was employed, the district hired an independent investigator to complete an investigation concerning the validity of the complaints. The statement reads, after a thorough investigation, no evidence was found to support any complainant's allegations. A state investigation is now underway and the matter could end up in court if the dispute is not resolved. During an interview with Blythe, Ms. Richard says she had gone public to carry out the double standards she had encountered at work. It's just really, really hypocritical, she told the publication. It sucks because you see firefighters out there with these sexy fire fighter um, calendars. If females did that, they will call them sluts and whores. Okay. Oh, there. She has a good point. So it's okay for guys, but but like how it's okay for every guy in my department to have photos of themselves at training. However, it's not the first time a female employee, employee has been targeted over their social media use. Last year, it was revealed an Instagram star and police officer known as Germany's hottest cop was back at work after receiving an official warning over her bikini photos. Andrea Kosa, a police officer from Dresden, had managed to amass a 653,000 um, strong following on social media in recent years after being named the most beautiful policewoman in Germany in 2016. Her Instagram feed is filled with photos of the 34-year-old in bikinis and workout gear as well as snaps of her enjoying exotic locations around the world. Mm, nice. Well, I guess everyone looks good in these um emergency um uniforms. Firefighters and policemen's and women's actually in police uniforms actually. So but late in two thousand eighteen she was told by her bosses she had to choose between police work or the glamorous life of the Instagram model with senior staff unhappy with her frequent sexy bikini shots. Oh, come on, man. Well, how would, if anyone would be attracted to the force? <laughs> anyway, that's all I have to say. And what's your thoughts about this matters? Um, just leave your comments down below in the comment section. If you like my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Anyway, have a good day.